Hey everybody, I just wanted to go over Thursday's assignment, which is about social classes. So Thursday's assignment actually is going to help you answer the essential question, how and why did social classes develop in the 13 colonies? So the first thing that you are supposed to do for that assignment is to write down the essential question, which is right here, and then answer it to the best of your ability. Now, I do want to reiterate, anytime you see standards, which are these right here, you don't have to do anything with them. They are just telling you what standards that this essential question belongs with, okay? Some of you got confused with that the last time we had to answer essential questions. So there again, anytime you see these standards, don't worry about them, okay? So your essential question is actually this essential question right here. Once you get finished writing this down in your notebook and answering it to the best of your ability, you're going to click on this picture and it's going to have you make a copy of the social classes of the colonies. And then that will bring you up to this document right here. Okay. So you do need to do this pre-reading activity. Um, once you click on this, it'll bring you up to this active or this reading activity. And your pre-reading activity asks you, based on the pictures of the first two pages, what do you think you're going to be reading about? So all you do is look at these pictures on the first two pages and then answer, what do you think you're going to be reading about? And then based on the pictures of the last two pages, what do you think you're going to be reading about? So you scroll down to page three and page four, and then you answer that question. What pictures help you come to those two conclusions? So what specific pictures made you think, hmm, this is what we're going to be reading about? And then are there any pictures that you have any emotions about? And then as you read, think about these seven different social classes. So you have the large landowners or proprietors, farmers, artisans, women, free African Americans, indentured servants, and enslaved African Americans. And then down here, just note that although Native Americans are not listed up here, they were also part of the colonial class system. Um, they were also going to be indentured servants or enslaved, and they had no rights at all. Once you get finished with that, you're going to describe in your own words, that's why it's highlighted, what Ulato Equiano tells about his journey. So he was actually a... Um, child from Nigeria. He was born in Nigeria and he was bought in, he was um, put into slavery and he was actually sold twice more before he was able to buy his freedom in 1766. So yes, he eventually bought his freedom and he wrote an autobiography about his life. Once you get finished with that, um, Continue reading and then find out which colony was the first colony to actually make slavery legal. And then which one stated if a woman has a child, then that child is born into slavery. These are two different colonies. Okay. If you have any questions, please let me know. Have a good day.